Continue working on your scene from the last movie, or use the provided scene named cp13cameras.max. You're almost at the end of the tutorial. You still need to place an animated camera or two to create interesting shots. Of course, you can and most likely will place and animate cameras using plain old 3ds Max techniques, but you can also use Civil View to that effect. You can place and animate cameras using Civil View, much like you placed and animated cars. Zoom back a bit and make sure Civil View is running. Call up the Object Placement Style Editor and make sure it's based on the Private Resource Kit. Add a new element and make sure it's based on the center line alignment. Lastly, go to the Cameras tab and choose a camera you want to use. A 24mm lens should work fine here. Click Apply. At first glance, nothing seems to happen, but if you click the Perspective Viewport label and then Cameras, you'll find a new camera listed there named Cam 024mm Lens 001. Select it to have a look at the camera point of view. It's in the middle of the road, sitting on the asphalt. Adjust the offset values. A vertical offset of about 2.4 meters would place the camera above most cars and trucks. A horizontal offset value of 4.5 meters would place the camera between the two lanes traveling east. However, clicking Apply doesn't seem to update the view. That's because the view reverts to perspective and you need to specify the camera shot one more time. Finally, you need to animate the camera. Set the speed to about 80 km per hour. It's faster than the right lane traffic, but slower than vehicles traveling on the faster left lane. You can specify start and end stations if you want. Set them between 20 meters and 1400 meters. Apply the changes one more time and ensure the camera is displayed in the viewport. Scrub or play the animation to see the effect. If you want, Render a frame to get a glimpse of what the final render may look like. To create a similar camera for opposing traffic, simply duplicate the element and edit the values. Basically, you'd only need to invert the horizontal offset to minus 4.5 and the speed to minus 80 km per hour. Check the new camera names and verify that they are working properly by scrubbing the animation slider. Try a test render or two to view the end results. Close the object placement style editor to when done. You don't need to save the style. Press P to go back to a perspective view and zoom back and orbit around. Although you can animate cameras using Civil View, nothing prevents you from using 3ds Max the old-fashioned way. Minimize the perspective view, Alt-W, and make sure the top view is in wireframe mode, F3. Create a target camera by the side of the bridge. Set it to display in the perspective viewport. Using the Move tool, adjust both camera and target for a startup shot at the side of the bridge. Rename the camera Cam Bridge Side. and then enable Auto Key and go to frame 300. Again, 
adjust both camera and target to keyframe the end positions. Test your animation. and exit auto key once you're happy with it. Try another one. Start as you did the last time by creating a target camera near the east end of the bridge. Name it Cam bridge top and display it in the viewport. Adjust the camera and the target to get a high startup shot, as if taken from a helicopter. Enable auto key and go to frame 800. Move both camera and target to the left end of the bridge. You may consider lowering the camera a bit at frame 800. Test the animation. This should make for an interesting helicopter shot following the traffic on the bridge. Save your file. Keep experimenting with this by adding more cameras to the scene. Try adding a camera on the bridge, showing a pedestrian's viewpoint. Or try to animate a camera that would simulate the flight of a bird. In fact, if you open the file cp14extras.max, you will notice two such camera shots that you can try and replicate. One camera is static, but its target has been linked to a sports car driving by, simulating the pedestrian's interest in the car. The other camera has been constrained to a 3D path. Its target was simply keyframed to ensure a smooth point of view travel. Camera rotation has been keyframed as well to simulate a bird's flight. You will use this scene to add the finishing touches to your project. This will be your last task in the concluding movie.